The F-150 Raptor R is one seriously intense truck, but it's surprisingly amenable to everyday use as long as you don't expect it to fit into normal-sized parking spots. The Ford F-150 Raptor R is a score off-road trophy truck living in an asphalt world. It wears extra-wide fenders, long-travel suspension, big tires, and the high-performance demeanor of a Baja-bashing race truck. The standard Raptor's aesthetics are already quite burly, but there's always some room for improvement. On the Raptor R, Ford increased the hood's dome size by about one inch for better air extraction. The grill, bumpers, and fender flares are painted black, while orange or badges adorn the grill, power dome, and tailgate. There's also a unique graphic on the rear fenders. The 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R is rated up to 15 miles per gallon in the city and 18 mpg on the highway. Opting for the larger 37-inch tires can reduce those figures to 14 miles per gallon city and 16 highway. The Raptor R hasn't been certified by the EPA yet. Once we have the opportunity to test one on our 75 miles per hour highway route, we can evaluate its real-world MPG. For more information about the Raptor's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. The 2023 F-150 Raptor R is only offered with a crew cab body style called Super Crew. While there are a variety of individual options and packages, we'd recommend the comprehensive 801 a high package that is made up of several other packages and includes features such as a 4.10 front axle ratio, an 18-speaker B&O sound system, an interior work surface, a heated steering wheel, high-tech trailering assists, upgraded headlights, wireless charging, and more. The only other option we'd suggest is the PowerTech pack that, most notably, includes a 2 kilowatts Pro Power onboard generator. In the Raptor R, the supercharged 5.2-liter V8 makes 700 horses and 640 pound-feet. For further comparison, the regular strength Raptor's twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 makes 450 horses and 510 pound-feet. He Raptor's new engine still pairs with a 10-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. However, the transmission has a new calibration and an upgraded torque converter. The Raptor also has a new, stronger front axle and a thicker drive shaft. The Raptor gets the normal Raptor's 37-inch BF Goodrich All-Terrain T slash AKO 2 tires as standard, with wheel travel of 13 inches at the front and 14.1 inches in the rear thanks to Fox Live valve shocks. Ford bumped up spring rates in the front by 5% to ensure the ride quality remains the same. Styling changes made for the Raptor R are, are more subtle. Most of the design carries over, but there are still a few key changes. The hood's power dome sits one inch higher than the standard Raptors. There are a handful of accents throughout the exterior painted in orange, including the R badge on the grille, hood, and tailgate. 
There's also a specific graphics package on the rear fenders. Ford claims the F-150 Raptor R has 333 millimeters of ground clearance, a 33.1 degree approach angle, 24.4 degree breakover angle, and 24.9 degree departure angle. Inside, the Raptor R looks like most other F-150 models, and it has most of the same tech and features as the regular Raptor. There are, however, a few distinct details. The carbon fiber accents throughout the cabin have an exclusive pattern. Its upholstery is a mix of black leather and micro suede, and they are come standard with a pair of comfy and supportive Recaro front seats. The steering wheel also features an R button that lets the driver instantly access a customized, preset drive mode. The Raptor's cabin enjoys the same design layout and passenger space as the regular F-150 Super Crew. The high-performance version comes standard with a 12.0-inch digital gauge cluster and boasts more interior storage space as well as what Ford says are nicer materials. The new steering wheel wears a laser-etched logo and now has a race car-style orange mark at the 12 o'clock position. Prominent aluminum paddle shifters still lurk behind the spokes. Along with the standard aluminum interior trim, the Raptor is available with optional carbon fiber interior accents and more aggressively bolstered Recaro front buckets. The high-flying pickup will no longer be offered in the extended Super Cab body style. At least the Super Crew Crew Cab version offers more back seat space. It pairs with a 5.5 foot cargo box. The F 150 Raptor can tow even more than the version it replaces. Its maximum payload and conventional tow ratings both increased by 200 pounds to 1,400 and 8,200 pounds, respectively. Other modifications include a more robust front axle, stainless steel exhaust manifolds, a unique oil cooler and filter, deeper oil pan, wider air intake inlet, and a high-flow conical air filter. A dual exhaust system with active valves allows owners to start their F-150 Raptor R in quiet mode, with normal, sport and Baja drive modes also offered. <laughs>